The next feature in using the Spark Science Learning System is the Build feature, which you are able to build your own labs or your own preview panes to create different data collection scenarios, which would be a great thing in the 10th Island project uh, to use this. They can see it graphically and they can also see it in digits display and they can also see it in gauge display. Or in case if they are using this on the, uh, when they're using this at the graph, I mean the 10th Island project, they're able to collect water quality so they can see all six of them at the same time. So I can go back and show you this. Um, so if I connect the sensor here, let's say that I want to see uh, temperature in a, in a digits display and I want to see dissolved oxygen of the climate of water. Uh, and I want to see the uh, voltage of maybe something that's giving electric current. Um, I can also see conductivity in the water, so if we're doing solent, excuse me, solubility of the um, water as well, and pH of the water that's around in the Campo Verde um, uh, water. You can also do that, and uh, we'll do temperature as well again. So you can collect. You're able to collect all six of them at the same time instead of having one at, at a time. Well, you know what I, I like is the fact that if I speak Portuguese, no problem. I can still operate this machine. Exactly. It's an easy feature to select the language that you would like. You can select this. It says languages. And then um, the languages will pop up. It's not on this one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you can select the languages that you want in the keyboard layout that as, you, as needed because different languages have different key, keyboard layouts as well. Well, that's really going to come in handy because some of my students will speak Spanish, some will speak Portuguese, and some will speak English. Mm -hmm. So now I have one tool that will deal with science and the languages. Mm -hmm. All right, then the last feature of, of the Spark Science Learning System is great for teachers and, and students as well as they want to start this, and also for the 10th Island Project as well is they can do the open feature, which already has built-in inquiry-based guided learning uh, labs that are for teachers and students to use. So let's say for the Campo Verde project, they wanted to learn about earth science, like a, a kind of it, like the air pollution and the acid rain there. Um, or maybe they want to know about the uh, isolation and seasons, they can learn about a inquiry-based lab that's already there for them and can be translated into their own language. So if I select, select OK, hold on just a second. Select OK, and then a guided lab is already built into this feature, uh, into this uh, Spark Science Learning System, and they're able to um, communicate by actually answering the questions within the lab, saving it, and then uh, uh, using a flash drive to communicate to the teacher that they've done the uh, experiment. Okay, I just want to repeat something for our listeners. Mm -hmm. It looks like we have the right tool for the Cabo Verde project, and the reason for that is we've got all of the scientific tools we need in software, and we have the ability to actually read and write in Portuguese, Spanish, and English. Correct. Yes. 